Hey guys, welcome to Wrestling Days and welcome to one of my most requested videos and that is a San Diego Comic Con recap video. Uh, so many new figures um, that have been unveiled that uh, it just took me a bit of time to go through them all, uh, figure out you know my opinions on them, what I think are the, the best figures and what are the most noteworthy and how to try and get it into a video and in truth I should have done this a few weeks ago but Man, it's just been so busy on the channel and, and that's not going to stop anytime soon. So um, if you haven't subscribed to Wrestling Days yet, I really would appreciate it if you would uh, just take a second and uh, subscribe because there's loads of stuff on the way, trust me. Uh, but let's get right into it. So AJ Styles has got a new figure on the way. He's got an Elite. He'll be part of Elite Series 47. Um, he's got a Basic coming out as well now. Um, I, I'm not into this idea of here's the elite, here's the basic. I'd much rather they um, give us these figures, you know, months apart. Um, a prime example would be they've just released the Dudley Boys Battle Pack. And very soon we're going to get Dudley Boys Elites. Now, uh, I've got the Battle Pack, so I don't need the elite. The elite has got slightly different ring attire. Uh, they're going to be part of uh, Elite Series 45 slightly different ring attire and they come with glasses I can do without that I mean it's gonna cost me about 36 odd pounds to get both of them and really I'm only paying for the glasses so I'm gonna give that one a miss so had Mattel had released the battle pack after the elites they would have got a little bit more money out of me so I just don't think Mattel are kind of releasing the figures right for you know making the most money that they could uh, I know that sounds crazy, me sitting here going, come on Mattel, you should be making more money here, but I want Mattel to do well because I want more figures in the future. AJ Styles has got Elite, uh, comes with a jacket, amazing face scan, this figure looks fantastic. Basic, um, looks exactly the same, just doesn't come with a jacket, doesn't have that articulation. Oh, my favourite figure, next. My favourite figure that was revealed this thing is stunning and when they spoke to bill the head designer he said that this figure took him the longest to sort as well uh, this and the shinsuke nakamura figure which um we only saw like a render of it it's not we didn't see like it fully painted or anything anyway asuka asuka elite 47 from the ring attire to the face scan to the accessories perfect Perfect. I can only compare this to uh, a Bala when Bala came out. Um, the Demon Bala, the first one, uh, the one that's up here. Uh, that this Asuka looks on that level, and that Bala figure I would say is my favourite figure that I own. Um, and I think that the Asuka one might. I think the Asuka one's going to beat it. You know, I really do think that. Uh, Austin Aries Basic uh, should be in Series 70, we think. I'm not sure. Uh, again, this was just a render. You don't see it fully painted. I'm not sure about the face. I need to see it painted, to tell the truth, to, to make a real call on it. But my gut feeling is they've got that one a touch wrong. Um, maybe, you know, like Kevin Owens, the first Kevin Owens wasn't right. The first Sasha Banks wasn't right. Um, Becky Lynch. Uh, elite series, we think 49. She's smiling. She's not Becky Grinch in this anymore. She's Becky Lynch, uh, which is wicked. So, um, comes with like a really long uh, coat. I think it comes with the top hat as well. I might have dreamt that though. Uh, but yeah, that's, uh, that figure looks much, much better. Brutus the Barber Beefcake as well. Um, I loved Brutus. Uh, he, ha he teamed with Hulk Hogan at WrestleMania 9 took on uh, Money Incorporated. Um, that was a big storyline for Brutus because he'd had an accident where he'd kind of shattered his nose. And I remember him coming back with like a mask and uh, there was this big build and he had Hulk Hogan in that storyline. And you know, he, 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 was, he was a decent character. He never achieved anything major. Um, but he'd been around in like the late 80s, early 90s. Um, so I'm really pleased that we're getting this Brutus uh, beefcake. He comes with his hedge clippers as well, um, which, you know, absolutely brilliant. So yeah, I was really excited to see that. And uh, again, I think it was just a render, but it looked bang on. Alexa Bliss, basic 68 uh, heel. 
um, which I was surprised that was she a heel this time last year I think she was I think she was with Blake and Murphy wasn't she so um, that she used to be a face and she used to wear blue I would like a I'd like a blue Alexa Bliss a face Alexa Bliss but it's absolutely right we've got heel Alexa Bliss uh, she's in the kind of red attire with the red bits at the end of her hair she's pulling a fantastic facial expression um, she looks like disgusted uh, which is absolutely brilliant. Miss and Maurice battle pack again. This was just a render, but from what I saw, it looked awesome. Awesome. Didn't even mean that, but yeah, looked awesome. Uh, Maurice, I think, looks very impressive, um, and uh, she moves as much as she does in real life as well. <laughs> Maurice does nothing, does she? She just stands at the ringside. Yeah, most of the time, she's not even cheering. It's just standing there. So. Um, this is very accurate, this figure. Uh, looks great anyway. It'll be in Battle Pack Series 46. Daniel Bryan retirement. Daniel Bryan with his retirement t-shirt on that he's got and a much better kind of like face and beard. Um, I, I've always been a bit critical of the Daniel Bryan figures because I've, I've always thought that they're a little bit, I don't know, maybe thin in the face. The beards never felt quite right. This one looks brilliant. I'm definitely getting this one. This is Retirement, Daniel Bryan, Basic Series 66. Finn Balor, new Finn Balor on the way. Elite 46. Looks great, but not as good as the first one, in my opinion. More decorated, but more doesn't mean better. I can't place what his um, look is from. I don't recall seeing this look. I don't know if they've just gone a bit off-road and they've just created a fantastic Balor figure. Don't get me wrong, this thing's amazing. But I still prefer this Balor because that's a bit more realistic to me. I don't... I, this one looks... It's going to sound crazy. Over-decorated. Sorry. just think it looks over-decorated. I don't recall the look. It, it looks brilliant, but I prefer the first one. Nakamura... Just a render at this point. No paint job on there or anything, but looks insane. I mean, painted, it could be up there with, with that Asuka figure, but for me, Asuka is the best. Um, Harlem Heat, we know are coming soon, Elite 46. All the pictures come with a second head. I hope, I hope it doesn't come with a second head, because I can't recall any other figures ever doing that. And as cool as it would be to take one head off and pop another head on, just, just get it right first time. Just, I don't, I don't know. Unless they're going to start doing this going forward, giving you second heads, then I don't want a second head because where am I going to put it? Just, I don't want like Booker T's severed head on my shelf behind me. Um, so I'm not sure about that. But the figures look great. Emma Basic looks oh, okay. It's just okay. Facial expression looks okay. Ring attire is just like silver. It's okay. Looks a bit like, I don't know if it's like a repaint, to tell the truth, of when like she was out before, but she was a lot more, she's a heel now. She was a face before. Oh, it just looks okay. Uh, Boogeyman, Elite 48, great detail. Um, I think this one looks brilliant. I think this was just a render as well, but cool accessory. Comes with his uh, stick that he walks around with. Um, so yeah, I was, into, I was into that one. Samoa Joe Basic. Uh, series 65 looks okay. Um, again, they've they've clearly just taken the elite, taken the articulation away, and and just made it a basic. Enzo Big Cass new battle pack, uh, battle pack series 45 looks better. Looks better than what we just had. I think the hair on Enzo looks better um, with it kind of up, uh, and it's uh, blonde. I think it looks a lot more like what his hairstyle is now. And I think the other nice touch they've done is they've given Big Cass his trunks a bit of a makeover because on this Big Cass, don't know if you can see, ooh, there we go. It literally just says, and you can't even make it out, it says Big Cass, but you can't quite see that it says Big Cass. It's got like the skyline on the back of this Big Cass, but I just think what they've done with the new Big Cass is, uh, looks a lot better. Pop him back there. So yeah, I, I'm into this new Enzo Big Cass Battle Pack. Uh, Corey Graves, not sure. There's a new Corey Graves. Uh, they haven't said what series it'll be a part of. I think he's thinner 
in real life than what they've actually made him. He looks a bit stocky in this one. I'd like to have seen him in some, so again, I think it's only a render, so we've not seen what the paint's going to look like, but it looks like he's in a suit. I want him to be in some kind of crazy shirt because he always wears crazy looking clothes like purple trousers and a crazy Hawaiian shirt. Um, his, his kind of, his, what he wears is very much part of his character and uh, I, just, I don't want to see him in just a, a plain boring suit. Revival, uh, I've got a battle pack coming out. Uh, please, please put the tag titles with them, the NXT tag titles. We don't have them yet. Um, in truth, even if they do, they'll put the, they'll put soft ones in. But I don't care. I just I want some NXT tag titles. Um, they're they're the big omissions at the moment. That that's the the big belt that's missing. That and the women's championship. That wasn't revealed either. Um, we really could do with a women's championship. Disappointed I never saw a Charlotte Elite, actually, because, you know, she was the champion for so long. They could have put her in with that robe and the women's championship. That figure, oh, that, that figure needs to be made. That figure needs to be made. Hopefully it's in the works, but unfortunately I never saw it at San Diego Comic Con. So, yeah, uh, Revival, look, uh, Battle Pack 45, look good. Uh, Gallows and Anderson, just a render, looked okay. It's very hard to judge from, you know, unpainted kind of um, CGI uh, graphic, but they looked okay. American Alpha, no, I'm not sure, you know. I'm not sure. Chad Gable looks smug. His facial expression doesn't look right to me. Jason Jordan looks awesome. But the ring attire looks bland. It's their kind of grey ring attire. It's not the more colourful ring attire they have now. Now, I know, I've, I've heard Bill at Mattel say it takes about a year to make a figure. So, um, this is probably right for what they were doing 12 months ago. But, uh, I just, it, it's not exciting enough. I, I, I will get it because, well, you've got to get American Alpha. I just think they're going to be, there's going to be better ones coming. Tatanka, Elite 47, wicked, loved Tatanka when I was a kid. Uh, comes with the Tomahawk, looks like they've done an awesome job on this. I'm, I'm on board with that. Gold Dust, Elite 47, can't tell actually, because again, it's not painted. It looks like they're going with classic Gold Dust because it comes with a removable wig, like 90s Gold Dust. But then his ring attire doesn't look like 90s Gold Dust. Um, but again, I need to see it painted. So I've got a few question marks around that one. Um, but if it is going to be classic night is gold dust, sign me up. I'm on board. Uh, that looks like it's going to be Elite 47. Other ones that were announced, right? There's uh, not great deal of information as to what series these are going to be in, but they look like there might be exclusives, actually. Bam Bam Bigelow, Wicked. One of my favourites, Bailey in NXT Brooklyn attire. Andre the Giant figure from the 70s. He's um, got like a suede, what I think is like a suede or leather jacket on. Uh, big facial expression. I think you can change his hairstyle. They said as well, they never really do much with the hands. Like the hands are all, you know, pretty standard affair. But they've actually changed Andre's hands and he's got these big, massive, giant hands. Um, and they said that's one of the only few times that they've ever done that, which I thought was quite interesting. Um, they've got Neville in red attire. This was my big criticism of the Neville figure. He shouldn't be in purple attire. His finisher is the red arrow. They've done him in red attire. Awesome. Tyler Breeze, uh, elite on the way. Finally, been waiting a while for that one. The bait is, So far, they've just done one basic, and it didn't come with the selfie stick. New day, elite triple battle pack thing uh i suppose it's not a battle pack but it's it's all three of them in a bootios box that looks that looks really impressive as well um the fact that they're three elites it said on the bottom that they were elites so as i said i'm not sure if if it's a battle pack or if it's an elite set i've never i don't think i've ever seen an elite set like elite figures all together that's have i don't think so. So, well, we've got to get it, haven't you? It comes in a bootios box. So, uh, yeah, that's awesome. Uh, Lord William Regal figure. Well, I mean, yeah, I'm getting that, of course I am. Lex Luger, the narcissist. Lex Luger, not when he was like the good guy in his kind of American attire, when he was like showboating in front of the mirrors 
uh, like WrestleMania 9. Um, so that looked wicked. Uh, white attire Seth Rollins looks really cool. Uh, the Bellas in white attire as well I thought was really impressive. Um, and then also some mutant figures. So they did zombies last year. This year they're doing mutant figures. Um, there's Sting with lobster kind of claw hands. There's the Wyatt, Bray Wyatt with uh, a tail. There's Lesnar with extra arms and it looks like all the arms uh, are movable, poseable, which I thought was cool. And then the final thing I wanted to talk about was a blast back to my past. Mattel have done figures of current stars in classic Hasbro style. Hasbro being like the 90s kind of figures, WWF figures. They've done like Brock Lesnar and Roman Reigns and John Cena um, in that kind of classic style. So um, not, not, not perfectly identical, but 99% there. Um, uh, uh, looks, looks fantastic looks fantastic don't know if they're going to be available in the uk uh, a lot of those figures are just mentioned at the end i think are like exclusives certainly that bailey nxt takeover brooklyn that's an exclusive um for someone i can't remember who um hopefully toys are us because then i might stand a chance of getting it but if it's target or someone we don't have that over in the uk so oh it's going to be another expensive shipping job isn't it but Hey ho, uh, that is that is it. Anyway, there, there were more uh, things like Steph figure from this year's WrestleMania, which is in the process of being made, which looked fantastic. Very similar to uh, where is she? Uh, oh, she's up there. Very similar to this Steph, where she is got in a ring attire from SummerSlam. So uh, you know kind of along those lines, but from this year's WrestleMania, it looked awesome. So if I have forgotten anything, uh, please drop it drop it in the comments. Um, if you uh, disagree with anything, drop it in the comments. You know, uh, I'm just giving you my opinion of what I, what I saw at San Diego Comic Con, but make no mistakes about it. Some really exciting figures amongst all of that. I think uh, some of my opinions might change once they paint some of those ones that are just a render at the moment. Um, but yeah, you know, uh, drop it in the comments or you can jump over to Twitter and Facebook at Wrestling Days UK. Uh, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, as I said at the start, it'd be wicked if you would, could, um, really would appreciate that. Uh, and if you like the video, give it a like. And that was it. Hopefully, see you again next time. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye for now.